Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs, formerly known as Crafty Mama. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, what I'm going to do today is a quick little video showing you guys how I clean up um, my images using only Canva. Um, and I do want to just put it out there that I do have the Canva Pro version. I don't think you would be able to do this in the, um, the free version of Canva. I do think that you have to have the Pro paid version of Canva in order to um, be able to clean up your images the same way. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I do it. Nine times out of ten, if I'm cleaning up an image... Um, I'll try to use Photoshop, but sometimes when you're trying to remove the background on stuff, Photoshop will remove too much of the background. Um, I really don't use any other apps or websites. I already pay for Canva because I design in Canva so much. So, um, I just, I use, I just clean up all my images in Canva because it's easy and they hit the mark every time. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of my background just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I have this image here. It's got a bunch of different images on it. I purchased this from iStock uh, Photos, which is where I get a lot of, like if I'm creating something or designing something, I do get um, a lot of my images from there. Um... Let, I just want this, let me, let me do this Wi-Fi one. So I just want this house that has the Wi-Fi symbol. That's the only one I want. I don't need all of these uh, pictures I, or all these symbols. I just need this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to take these little sidebars and I'm basically just going to crop everything else out. This is all I need, this little picture right here, okay? So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna go up here to effects and I'm gonna select background remover. And then Canva is just gonna go ahead and remove the white part of the background for me. So now, all I have is the house with the Wi-Fi symbol. Super easy, super simple. Like, <laughs> I don't know. A, I don't think it can get any more easier than that. And Canva, um, for me, it has always been just that simple, literally. Let me see if I can find another image and do it again just to show you how easy it is. Um... Okay, let's do this one. Typically, um, to make it a little bit easier for Canva to remove the background, I typically try to crop out as much as I can. So let's say I just want the cup and it's probably going to get like my fingers a little bit, but I crop out as much of the background as I can. And then we go up to effects and we click background remover. A lot of people have been asking me questions about how I clean up my images. I feel like I have shown. So now you see it's just going to have my hand holding the cup and it took out everything else. Super, super, super simple. I swear, I don't think like Photoshop doesn't always hit the mark as far as removing the background the way um, Canva does. Same with Cricut Design Space. I'll go in Cricut Design Space and try to remove the background. And sometimes in Cricut Design Space, it'll remove too much of the background or not enough. So then I have to go, go over it with the little eraser tool. Nine times out of 10, if all else fails, I will upload my picture to Canva and I will just remove the, the background in Canva. And then the way you save it, is you turn your background, you can turn your background back white or you don't have to turn it back white. Um, so you turn your background back white, you go up to download and then you click this transparent background button and it will download your file as a PNG with the transparent background. So 
do I have Cricut? I'm on my laptop. I'm trying to see. Okay, so I do have Cricut on my laptop. So I will go ahead and show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to open up Cricut Design Space. We're going to go, we're going to save this with the transparent background. PNG, we're going to select transparent background and we're going to download it. Then I'm going to, we're just gonna save this onto our computer. Save it onto the desktop so we can find it. And of course, my Cricut Design Space wants to update right now as I'm doing a video. Um, but yeah, as far as like removing my uh, the backgrounds and whatever I need to do, like I said, nine times out of 10, I am using Cricut. I'm sorry, not Cricut, I'm using Canva. I'm gonna select new project. And then I'm going to upload the image we just saved. I feel like I might've shown you guys this before but I haven't done like a actual video on it. So see how the image there's, we removed all the other houses that were on this picture. We removed the background, no issues. No, it was, it was super easy to do. And now I want to upload this to Cricut Design Space because I want to cut it. And I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do any cleaning up because we already did it super easy in Canva. Okay, so now if I wanted to cut this out in some black vinyl and put it on a shirt or, you know, whatever the case may be, I can go ahead and do that and it's a perfect image. Okay, so that is how I pretty much remove all of my backgrounds, clean up my images. I use Canva Pro. Um, it's extremely, extremely easy. You can save it with the transparent background. You can save it as a PNG. You can save it as a PDF if you need it. Um, I've never had any issues. So uh, I've had a lot of questions of people asking me, how do I clean up my images and remove backgrounds and crop things out and this, that, and the other. This is how I do it. This is how I do it, okay? I use Canva. Let me see if I can find maybe another picture. I do the same thing like with my professional with my professional pictures that I got done. So all of my professional pictures were done on a white background, okay? And I did that on purpose because I wanted to be able to have versatility with it. So I'll, I'll upload my professional picture, go to effects, remove the background, wait for it to do its thing. Boom. Don't have to do anything with the eraser app. It moved, it removed everything. Add in my logo, design it, whatever you want to do. It's it's extremely, extremely easy. Um I'm sure there's other apps, other ways to do it. Um for me, I mean Canva has just always been the easiest for me. So I'm just going to always kind of stick with what I've got. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And here's like another one, like a laptop. I down, I got this off of iStock as well. Remove the background of the laptop. And then I can go into my uploads if I want to add like a screenshot of my, here's a screenshot of my website, make it smaller. I mean, there is just so many different ways you can play with Canva um, and removing the background, adding, subtracting, you know, all different kinds of things that you can do in Canva. So. This is basically how I just wanted to do a quick little video showing you guys how I clean up my images. Um, 
as when I'm designing. Um, like I said, if I'm in Photoshop, I'll, I'll try to use Photoshop first if I'm already in Photoshop doing something else. But sometimes the issues that I have with Photoshop is that, like I said, it'll remove too much of the background, background or not enough. So like when I tried to remove the background on this picture specifically, um, it left some of the shadow down here where the chair was. And I kind of had to go in and use the eraser tool to get rid of that until I realized that Canva had just removed everything. So like I said, if I need something gone from Canva and then I could, you know, turn this back white, make this image larger, and then I can save this as a PNG image. We're gonna download PNG, transparent background, click download. You're going to save it to your computer. I'm just gonna put it on the desktop for the you know, purpose of this video. And then we're gonna go to Cricut and you can just upload it and it's gonna have, let's say I wanted to do a print and cut of that image. There, there it is, no background. Nothing to clean up, nothing to do, it's already done. Print and cut, upload. Now the image is already in there and it was extremely simple to remove. Okay, so that is how I clean up any image that I have. When you keep in mind that when you are cleaning up images, you want to try to make sure that you have the best resolution possible. And then um, you also, if it's a kind of large image, you want to try to um zoom in on it as not zoom in but crop out some of the background like i was doing with this one so kind of bring these bars down and crop out as much of the background as you can at first just to make it a little easier for cricut to recognize and then go to effects and then remove the background Okay, so if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely drop them down below. If you have any video ideas you'd like me to do, drop those down below as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.